Hey, what's up everybody? Adam here with Steel Ridge Farm. We are a brand new Grace Cart customer and I wanna show you just how easy and quick it is to get your own website and online store set up with Grace Cart. Here we go. Now it's just a matter of customizing our website to make it look like it matches our brand. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump over here to our sites. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna edit the theme, okay? The theme is going to change site-wide things like colors and fonts and all of that stuff. So we wanna make those customizations site-wide first before we go diving into uh, editing specific parts of the website. Okay, so I'm gonna start here with our logo and we'll plug that in here. Okay, drop that in there. There's our logo, beautiful. I like hit and save, just to be safe. Fonts, I like the font. I'm gonna leave it alone. Uh, no sense in fixing what ain't broke. Colors, uh, obviously this orange doesn't match our, our brand. I happen to know that our uh, hex code for our brand color is 718355. So we'll go ahead and set that. And you can see how it changed now my buttons and everything to this green, uh, but I want my links to match. So we'll go ahead and change that as well. Okay, so we'll leave that one there and let's go back, go to our header. I'm gonna move myself out of the way here, off to the right, and I am not going to change a whole lot here, except for these colors. So again, let's change this to our brand color. You can see the font color change there. Background color, I wanna kind of be close to our brand color, but not the same, otherwise nobody will be able to see it. But I happen to have the right color saved already that I know is a good color. So you can see how that, that worked out there. Um, just a quick little tip for you guys here too. If you don't know the hex code colors for your particular uh, farm's brand, there's a couple quick and easy ways you can grab some uh, colors for your website that'll look really good. I like to go to coolers.co and you can use this tool for free. All right, so let's go back here to we'll check out our main menu. I think I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave that alone. I think that looks fine just the way it is. Same thing with the footer. I don't have any objections to this. So we'll leave that alone. Store, I like the grid layout. So we'll leave that that way. I don't think there's any reason to change anything there. And our favicon. All right, so let me upload my favicon. And then right here, I've got the perfect little blurb to add that I just copied from our coming soon page that we have up right now for our website. So we'll plug that in there. Okay, and I like that. Shop now, that works. Uh, it's linked to our store. I'm happy that, with that. And I'm gonna go ahead and gonna change this as well. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is speed this up a little bit so you guys can see me uh, make some of these changes without having to watch in real time. Okay, one real quick thing to point out here you may have noticed that I didn't change is the URL for each of these uh, three blocks. So we gotta go grab those and just make sure we have them right. So first we wanna grab the microgreens. So easiest way to do that is flip over to our live store. And then from here, we'll click on microgreens and we can see the path is forward slash store forward slash microgreens. So we'll just go back over and paste that in right there and hit save and then do the same thing for eggs and mushrooms. There we go. I think that works pretty well. I forgot to change this picture. Okay, let's see if we can find, what kind of photo do I wanna use there? Let's do a farm horizon. I'm sure I have a photo that I could use somewhere, but for the sake of time, for now, we are going to use this one. And of course, we'll squish it real fast. Okay, 
Let's go here. Drop in that new photo. All right. I think that looks pretty good. Okay. And I think our homepage is done. Okay. So let's go back to our pages. All right. So the next thing I want to do is work on this about page. What I think I'd like to do is actually change this up a little bit. I want to have a top banner section, kind of like the homepage did uh, with a background photo and a little text. And then down below it, I want to have an image to the left and some text on the right. So I'm going to build this out here. So I'm going to go over to my widgets. I think I need a banner at the top. Yep. Okay. So let's go ahead and change my background image. And I've got something here that I think will work well, we'll drop, drop this in there. Okay. It's actually a little too whitewashed. Makes it kind of hard to see the text. All right. So what I did is I just went into Canva and I created a quick overlay onto this image to make it a little bit darker. If you don't have Canva, it's a free tool, super easy to use. Don't be intimidated by this. It only took me literally like a minute and a half to go ahead and do this to this photo. And now I think this is going to work a lot better. All right. Beautiful. Love it. Okay, so first thing I know is I don't really want a button there. Let's see if I can remove that. Yep, I'm gonna hide that button. Okay, and then let's go ahead and change this text. And I'm gonna make this, I already wrote some stuff here. Plug that in there. I didn't actually write something for this, so I'm just gonna use what's there. I think, I think it works. Uh, again, no sense in changing what ain't broken. Okay, so I think that's good. That top section is done like I wanted. So now I want to add the next section that has the image on the left and the text on the right. And what you need to have is actually two text widgets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my layout. I'm going to delete this one that's there. And then I want to go to my widgets and I'm going to drop two new ones in there. So I've got a styled text widget. This is going to be my image. And I know it's not an image widget and this will all make sense in a minute and I'll show you why, but I'm going to go ahead and upload image here that I think will work there. Okay, so we'll drop that one. The kid's being kind of goofy in there. And then we'll go back to our widget. I'm gonna add another styled text widget here. And then let's go ahead and edit that and we'll drop in our text. So I'm gonna drop in our body text here. All right, now it's gonna drop it down below here, you'll see. So now you might be wondering, well, wait a second, Adam, this isn't what you wanted. It's not side by side. Okay, so what you need to do is go into your widget settings, go to appearance, and you need to change column to half. And this is the reason why I used the style text widget for the image instead of an actual image widget, because the image widget does not have the option to make it a half column. So once I make that a half column, and then I also go into this, this next one and make that a half column, they will now be side to side. So you can see how, how that worked out. Okay, so this looks good. I think this page can be considered done. And so now let's see, we've got our store landing page is kind of the last thing we need to change here. So let's go check that out. All right, so I'm gonna tweak this a little bit, but otherwise I'm gonna leave it the way it is. Obviously we don't have beef, poultry, and pork. So we're gonna change this here. And we're gonna use the same ones here, I'll show you. So under this, what we offer section, I'm gonna change this to match that. Okay, so let's, grab the same images, this one, and let's see, what do we say? Organic microgreens. Okay, so we're gonna change that to organic microgreens, and our URL is needing to be updated. So a little trick here, guys, on this, because we know this one is correct. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy the link. There we go. Okay, but we don't need this whole thing. All we need is that right there. So we'll save that, and then go to the next one was that egg photo in the basket it says farm fresh eggs so we'll change our photo it's this one right there and we'll say farm fresh eggs and we'll grab our link trim it down and then the last one we put functional mushrooms and it's these mushrooms on the cutting board and we'll grab the link trim it down to what we need save okay I think that page is done. So unless you want to add a new page, you know, contact page or something like that, this is ready to go. Uh, I obviously didn't add any of my SEO settings, but um, we can do that here in a minute. So, I mean, this site, let's go take a look here. This site is pretty much ready to go, right? So we've got everything customized on here. We've got our own testimonials, our own story. Uh, all of our links are in the bottom because 
that's what we uh, set up in our settings. Uh, and we go to shop now, that's gonna take us to our store and they can click into our categories, see our products. Uh, once I in add my inventory, this will allow them to check out. The about us page is there, looks great. And we've got, that's right. Um, so there's a contact form that's auto-generated. So you don't have to create a separate contact page. It's already there. I mean, everything is here. I think this site is ready to launch once I update my inventory. So next steps are connecting our Stripe account and configuring this so that it's on your own personal domain instead of using the Gray's cart domain. You want it on your own domain. So I'm going to go ahead and call this a wrap. Thanks for watching over my shoulder with me and have fun using Gray's cart.